the reason that we want to go back to the moon is related to the future, obviously, of our civilization. Um, there was a press release put out by the World Wildlife Federation about two, maybe three years ago now, stating that we needed the equivalent of two more Earth's resources to support future global populations. My response to that, which I outlined in my book, Moonrush, was that fabulous, we have several million Earths, each one with their own unique resources that uh, have the potential to contribute to the well-being of the Earth's population. The resources that are out there in our solar system are tremendously more than what are available to us uh, on the small part of the Earth that is available for resource exploration and exploitation. For example, there is an asteroid called 3554 Amun. And Amun is approximately one kilometer or six tenths of a mile in diameter. And this asteroid has approximately 20 trillion dollars worth of valuable metals. And these metals include iron, nickel, cobalt, and what we call platinum group metals, which are the metals that are critical to our industrial civilization for catalysts, like the catalytic converter that's in your car has platinum and palladium. Platinum is used in the manufacture of gasoline from crude oil. The platinum and the platinum group metals are used in many, many applications. The LCD screens that uh, we all love with our computers, uh, they have platinum. Hard disk drives, uh, the uh, coatings have platinum. So there's a tremendous number of applications related to how our civilization works that are dependent upon platinum group metals. And these are very, very valuable metals. Right now the price of platinum in the middle of 2006 is over $1,100 per ounce. We know that these resources are out there in the asteroids because we have meteorites here on the Earth that we've been able to study and we know the composition so that we know they have these platinum group metals. We're already mining asteroidal resources here on the Earth, uh, such as at Sudbury in Canada, which is an ancient asteroid impact. There is considerable debate, but it seems at least probable that the Marine Fort uh, impact in South Africa that is associated with what's called the Marinsky Reef, which is a major global producer of platinum and platinum group metals, is an asteroid uh, remnant. Uh, and so we're already using asteroidal resources on the Earth. These resources have been transformed over billions of years of being on the Earth. It's a lot of expense and environmental degradation to get these resources. But on the moon, no matter how far back you go, there's been no weathering on the moon. So if a nickel iron asteroid has hit the moon and has either remained relatively intact or is splattered about as fragments, that those fragments are still there. And those fragments have been unmodified since the day they hit, and therefore they're there available as a resource.